50 bucks. I don't know about that. Yeah. Take this! <laughs> it's your turn! Hey guys, this is S Question 4 here, back again with a new video for you guys. So today, I'm here at the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. So it's a huge mall. I'm sure I'll find something Dragon Ball here. Will I buy anything? I don't know, we shall see. But there's so much to see here at the American Dream Mall. In case you haven't been to it, you really should, because there is, like I said, tons. You can spend all day here, literally all day here. They have the Nickelodeon theme park and everything. So, um, so yeah, guys, let's see if we can find anything Dragon Ball. I'm sure we'll find something, that's for sure. There's so much to see, tons of stores. There's no way that we won't find anything Dragon Ball. All right, here's like a little view of it, of everything. Well, of <laughs> where I am right now. There's tons, they have a Toys R Us here, guys. And I spot already in my vision here, something Dragon Ball. It looks like a huge trunks, like, statue. Let's see if it's resin. And Ibisu right here. All right, oh yeah, I see trunks, I see trunks. All right, Ibisu, there's the trunks. That's awesome, that's like a resin statue of trunks. That's amazing. How much I wish I had this in my room, in my collection. I don't have any resins really in my collection. Maybe one day when I get a house. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at her too um, from uh, One Piece. What's her name? Anyway, let's check it out. See what they got inside. Right off the bat, I see Trunks' head up there. Right off the bat. That's cool. Imagine having that just like Trunks' head. <laughs> Looks like they have a bunch of little capsule gotcha machines. I don't see Dragon Ball ones though. A lot of other cute ones. All right, I see um, a pirate robot, a WCF figure, and Harutagarn. It's pretty cool. They got that. Let's see if I find anything else. They got a bunch of figures here. Some of them obviously clearly fake. Some of them, might, I hope, legitimate. Yeah, Yardrat, uh, <laughs> Vegeta. Yeah, clearly it's fake. From the manga, it hasn't come out, you know, in anime form, of course. We got King Piccolo. This is legitimate. Check that out. Fifty bucks. I don't know about that. Yeah, 50 bucks for freaking Gamma 1. Uh, no. No. Okay, it's really cool to see that they have one of the DX um, Sofubi Gotenks figures because those are like considered like more on the vintage side now. It's really cool. I think they're from like 2010 or so. Oh no, they're from 2007, even older than what I thought, see? I don't know what's in this, but Clearly it's bootleg. I have no idea what the figure looks like inside. <laughs> what the heck? Tempted to like take a look, but don't want to open it. So here's a legitimate figure here. 50 bucks and no, overpriced. This is a bootleg. Kid Goku figure. This is $36. This one is obviously fake as well. Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. Looks like you can, wow. Can you make it Super Saiyan 5 as well? It says Super Saiyan Vegeta. Vegeta, really? This is supposed to be Gohan, not Vegeta. Uh, I am Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta too, Vegeta. I know that's how you say it. Like some people used to say that like Japanese way to say it, Vegeta. But this is clearly, this is Gohan guys. What the hell? But I would get this because the, I like AF figures, so I do like AF figures a lot, but this is $60. All right, they got more here. Yeah, I don't know what is in this box. I don't know what figure is in this. Obviously something Kid Goku Dragon Ball related, like OG Dragon Ball. And then what else do they got? Okay, they got Launch from the Cube Posket line. Um, this is legitimate. It's cool. Don't tell me it's 50 bucks too. 40 bucks. They got the matchmakers Frieza there and that is also way too much money. I don't know. Their prices are steep and you know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks for bootleg, not good, not good. All right, they got a puzzle here. 40 bucks for the puzzle, but that's a cool puzzle though. Dragon Ball Super, pans in it, nice. That's cute, I like that. And then they got One Piece, that's cool. One Piece puzzle too. Spy family. It's cute. Look at that giant Pikachu, $120. <laughs> That's huge though. 
That's really huge. Look at the comparison. I don't know if I can take it out. Yeah, there we go. That is huge. Really huge. Ugh. Anyways. It's cute though. If you like Pikachu. I don't know where you'll put it, but check this out. They got um the red Shenron from GT, right? Um it is a bootleg. It is a bootleg. Hundred and ten dollars. I mean it's a pretty nice bootleg though. I like it, but I wouldn't spend over $100 on it. There's another one, another bootleg. It is a uh, Vegito. It looks nice based off the box. I don't know how the figure itself looks like, but I think you can get this cheap on Timu. Honestly, you probably can get it cheap on Timu. <laughs> I can see they have a uh, Ultra Instinct Goku right there. You see the bust over there? Ultra Instinct Goku. Check that out, y'all. Very nice. Perfect place for photos. But I'm going into Box Lunch. Let's see what they got. Obviously, they always have Dragon Ball stuff in here. So what kind of Dragon Ball stuff is the question? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Shrek. Barbie. That's cute. Their t-shirts are awesome. Honestly, I love their t-shirts here. Sonic. Hey, Dragon Ball figures. Got the Blood of Sa I love the Blood of Saiyans series of figures. Wow. Love that. Future Gohan. Look at that. Oh, wow. Kamehameha. Super Roshi. I love the GX material line as well. Here we go. Goku. Kamehameha through his feet. I love that. The Master Lies figures here of um, Gohan with the ball cut. We got um, Krillin with the Saiyan battle armor. So we're saying Gohan here. Love this. So cool. They go together, Trunks and Vegeta. I always love Goku and his blue gi. It's my, one of my favorite looks for Goku. Him and his blue gi is amazing, perfect, looks so good. Love it. All right, take a look at this. This is like a hockey jersey of Dragon Ball. I actually have it because my friend Chris got it for me for my birthday. And then I have this one too. I have this jersey as well. Oh, this is cute. This is like a soccer jersey. I don't have that. Flight Nimbus. That's a cool jacket. Look at that one. Bruh. <laughs> Look at it. That's a nice like bomber jacket. It says Saiyans. That's a nice bomber jacket. <laughs> Very cool. And then also, there's another like hoodie. Goku, green with the Dragon Balls. We got some snacks up here. We got um, the, wow, Shenron watermelon cotton candy. Have never seen that really anywhere. That is really cool. But you know what I would do, right? Freaking buy it and not open it or try it. <laughs> we got the Goku Black um, sodas or the sparkling water. What else? Some shirts over there. I love the Frieza one. The Frieza one is Amazing, badass, I love it. More shirts here. Ooh, look at the cell one. Look at that cell one. That's beautiful. Their shirts at Box Lunch are a little bit pricey, $32 for a shirt, or $33 really. But they're nice, they're really nice shirts. Nice. Oh, I love button ups. So cute, Chibi, Vegito. Goku. Oh, Bulma in the bunny outfit. That's cool. I like that. I like that one a lot. Gummies. Another Frieza figure here. Part of the history box series. There's also this shirt, which I have. Chris also got this for me for my birthday. I love it. The Super Boo Majin Boo t shirt. Love the colors, they stand out so much. Frieza one though, 
Frieza is freaking awesome, my favorite villain. We got a Saiyan like jersey too, like a baseball jersey as well. Oh wow, stickers to put on your like like decals to put on your laptop and stuff. And cell phone. Trunks figure right there. We got these two, the average figures from Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero. So cute. Dr. Hito, Trunks, Go Pen. Stickers here, gummies. Nice, they have a lot of Dragon Ball stuff actually. <laughs> I expected less, I expected less. Okay, but I see some, sorry, I'm eating candy. <laughs> some Funko Pops. Can you force? That's so cute. I mean, I don't really collect Pops anymore, but I'll say this is a really cute set. There's too many now for me to keep track. I sold all my pops. <laughs> all right, so now going into Hot Topic. Let's see what they got here. Lately, Hot Topic's been disappointing me. Whenever I go to Hot Topic, I feel disappointed. Let's see if they will surprise me with anything good. All right, so they have a little section for Dragon Ball. They have cotton candy here too, but where are the other shirts? <laughs> Let's see what this shirt is. Is this Shenron? Looks like it's Shenron. Yep, it is. It is Shenron. I like the green. Like, it looks cool. Nice. But, where are the other shirts? I like that, that they have the UDM keychains. I already have that pan one. It's the one I really wanted. I don't know. Where, where are the other Dragon Ball t-shirts? I don't know. Hmm. All right, so I was very, very disappointed by Hot Topic again. That's all they freaking have for Dragon Ball. Like, where are the other shirts? Like, that's crazy. I don't know. Very lame. Of course, I was disappointed once again. I'll tell you, Hot Topic is way better online, on their website. Way, way better. All right, so we're here at Toys R Us. Wow. An actual Toys R Us store store. That's awesome. Last time I went, into a Toys R Us physical like store instead of like the Macy's thing is in Japan, 2018. So crazy. It's very nice to, to see a Toys R Us. But the question is, do they have Dragon Ball stuff? Do they, ha do they have Dragon Ball stuff at Toys R Us? I don't know, let's see. So far, nothing. Star Wars, Transformers, um, but I don't see anything Dragon Ball. Am I surprised? Not really. Got all this stuff, more Transformers. I got Pokemon. Minions and stuff, but dinosaurs, Jurassic Park. But yeah, Power Rangers even. An old Dragon Ball. All right, so they got wrestling figures, of course. What else? I got Bakugan, He-Man, yeah, superheroes, a lot of superhero stuff here, even Ghostbusters, Toy Story, dang, Bakugan, no Dragon Ball, Not, you would think they would at least have like Dragon Star stuff, nothing, wow, shocking, very honestly, I can kind of see uh, Trunks back there, that's all I can see here, just trunks. <laughs> I think that's all they have, is the trunks. It looks like they have, they have Digimon here too. Yeah, it's, I believe it's like the, um, I forgot the name of that set, but let me see. Super Saiyan trucks, trunks, the flash glass figures or whatever. Well, those are the only ones I see, at least Dragon Ball, that's all I see. And there's also some Digimon and there's Gundam. But yeah, that's it guys. I tried, but that looks like that's all they got here in, and um, Toys R Us, just those. And I don't know why they have them behind the counter. You can't even look at them like that. <laughs> it's annoying, anyways. All right, so now let's go to PQ. Um, they got Ozzy, the viruses. Artwork here for sale. Shout out to Ozzy, friend of mine. Freaking amazing artist, super talented. Really wanted to kind of show that off here. It's super cool. Very awesome. 
I think it's just badass that his artwork is uh, is being sold here. Official artwork. That is so funny. Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the toilet. That is hilarious. Yeah, so there's Ozzy the Virus. Amazing, amazing artwork from Ozzy. Freaking awesome. So talented. So, so talented. Check this out. They got some figures here. Gamma 1. And they got Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. You should definitely check his stuff out if you guys haven't yet. Ozzy the Virus on IG, on Instagram. And now we're going to go to the second store of Ibisu. Ibisu Life Store. They have two locations in the same mall. Check it out. Master Ultra Instinct. Goku Resin Statue. That's amazing. Again, I would love to have one in my own collection. I would die to have one in my own collection. Like, actually. I think they have similar things in this location. Oh, actually, they have a little bit of different ones. They got um, the Cube Posket um, launches. They got Android 18, Bulma, Chi Chi, Piccolo from um, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Vegeta here. So a little bit of different stuff. Nani? I am Vegeta. <laughs> Lots of Pokemon plushies over here. Very cute. I love it. Um, I don't see much other Dragon Ball things or many other Dragon Ball things. Check this out. Look at that Raditz back there. It's kind of cool. Goku. Saw them hiding over there. Nice. Alright guys, so we're at Primark right now. As you can see. Look what they got. That's awesome. That's a nice shirt. Shenron. That is so cool, 16 bucks. A Primark in the women's department. So it's a lady sh shirt, which is awesome. I love seeing female Dragon Ball clothing, you know, cause like, it's rare to find. It's rare, rare to find. So I'm glad to see it. That is awesome. Might have to get one of these, I don't know. They're pr pretty lit. I might, I might end up walking out with one. That's for sure. They have a lot of um, Dragon Ball stuff in Primark though. I really hope that my hair is not touching the mic. I feel like it's been touching it this whole time. But anyways, there's a sweatshirt. There's Dragon Ball Z in the front. And take a look at the back. It is Goku doing a Kamehameha. And it says Dragon Ball Z. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's see how much it is. Let's see. 25 bucks for this hoodie. Can't go wrong with that. 25 bucks. There you go. Primark. Hopefully you have a Primark near you because... You know, they have really good stuff for cheap. They have a Naruto collection here. So, Attack on Titan. What else? You know, Naruto, again. Yeah, so, badass, love it. This is the uh, little voice department and they have some Dragon Ball swimming trunks. That's pretty cool. I could totally fit in these, honestly. If I, let me see what size. <laughs> I could totally fit in like the 10, uh, no, the. The one after 10, 11, like 10, 12, I can fit in this. <laughs> there you go, I can fit, it's stretch, I can fit in these. <laughs> That's cool though, That's really cool. How much? It is, okay, $11, not bad for this. This is really cool. I like that image of Goku, looks nice. Nice, says Dragon Ball Super. So I bought something else in the boys department. They got some Dragon Ball. Little like hoodies or sweatshirts. Sweatshirts, this is a sweatshirt. Cute, Goku on it, very nice. I can actually probably fit in the largest size here in the boys department, yeah. Yep, they got 14, 15, I could totally fit into this one. And this is the only one they got. That's the thing about being smaller, you can save some money, <laughs> you know, by getting boys clothes. It's pretty cool. Primark, that's where it's at. It's only 13 bucks. Let me see. 12 bucks. Nice. It's really cute. More stuff at Primark. Look at this one. This is a cool shirt. Nice. Dragon Ball Super, Goku on it. 
Again, I can fit in these for sure. These are 12 bucks. Oh, wait. Back has, wow. Goku and Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku. I love that. That's a nice shirt. These kids got some good um, merch for them. And then we got another hoodie. Yet another one with Goku on it, Dragon Ball Super. You know, nothing too crazy about this one. It's, it's nice, but this one's $19. Quality's pretty good. And they even got these like uh, sweatpants, like jogger things. Yeah, these are really cool. I could fit in one of these too. As, uh, as you can see, yeah, we got Goku and Vegeta there on the pants. Dragon Ball Super right there. It says Dragon Ball Super. Like I said, these kids are lucky with the merch. They got all the cool stuff. But yeah, guys, Primark. Check it out. I don't know if any of you guys are uh, small enough to fit into the boy stuff, but I mean, they got it. Or if you have kids, you know, bring your kids to get Dragon Ball merch here. Look at this like Jersey style Dragon Ball shirt. Seven bucks. Again, it says Dragon Ball Z, has Goku on there. Anything on the back? Yep, Goku again on the back. I would totally dress my kid up in this if I had one. <laughs> All right, so now I am back home and wanted to show you what I got from the American Dream Mall in Jersey. So that mall is huge. There's my dog Keiko, but I'm not couch but that mall is huge if you haven't been there you have to take a trip honestly you could be there an entire day all those stores that i showed you in the video but there's way more than that i mean that was like how many stores did i go into compared to like the feel it feels like thousands of stores but it's like you know hundreds of them so the first thing i got for my hunting trip is right here i got two of them actually shenron cotton candy and i got these from the box lunch that you saw earlier and uh, these are pretty cool I didn't try them I did not try them I said I was gonna try them and I never did but it looks good and I don't know if I want to try them when do they expire okay yeah I, could I guess I'll try it. it expires in September so but yeah I got these from there pretty cool I wanted to get them because I didn't have any of them in my collection and also like it just looked neat, it's like Shenron Cotton Candy, and they have a Goku Kamehameha one as well, which is blue. And then the last thing I got from this trip is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It is very big and baggy, but you know, if you're going for the baggy look, this is it. This is the shirt to get, you know? I also like tucking it in and just kind of pulling it out and having that kind of look with it. But anyway, <laughs> I really, really like the like kind of acid wash sort of look to it that it has and the Shenron graphic is amazing. I like the purple pink, you know, lettering to it and just that, you know, neon green Shenron. I like the contrast and the logos, that purple pink color too. Got it from Primark, super cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks or something, 12, $13. Can't go wrong with that with this awesome shirt. So if you have a Primark near you, you gotta check it out for some really, really affordable and nice Dragon Ball apparel. So that's it, that's all I got <laughs> at this trip at, to the uh, American Dream Mall, but everything else I kind of already had, so that's why, except for these two things. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever been to that mall. Do you plan on going to that mall? Do you live anywhere near that mall? But all right guys, hope you enjoyed this hunting video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, it really helps with the algorithm on YouTube. And until next time, guys, peace out, Gosha Force. And remember to keep breaking limits every single day. Hey, it's Pan from Dragon Ball GT, and you're watching my good friend, SSJ Gosha 4. Peace.